I'm Yuka Kotoko from National Statistics Center Japan. I'm going to talk about efficient autocoding method in high dimensional space. The purpose of this study is developing an autocoding system with large and complex data. Because data handled in official statistics field is getting large and complex in recent years, in order to deal with these problems, we decided to apply world 2 vec and support vector machine SVM for the development of new autocoding method. world 2 vec was developed based on an idea of neural probabilistic language model in which words are embedded to continuous space by using distributed representations of the words. SVM utilizes metric in high dimensional space. It's known as high discrimination ability and generalization performance. We propose a new autocoding method utilizing word 2 vec and SVM. We use word 2 vec for notation from a word to a numerical vector, SVM for classification based on the numerical vectors. First of all, I'll talk about coding tasks in our office using an example of Family Income and Expenditure Survey. The Family Income and Expenditure Survey is a sampling survey related to household income and expenditure conducted by the Statistics Bureau of Japan. In this survey, households are asked to keep their daily income and expenditures in their family account book. The information from respondent family account book includes purchased item name or receipt item name in short text descriptions. Households also fill out prices of these items, and if necessary, they fill out the quantities and units of items. Using those information, we assign corresponding calls for each filled out item. Then we use the coded information for efficient data processing to create result tables. This is coding task. Here is a proposed autocoding method of our study. First, we tokenize each text description into words by using makeup. Then we obtain numerical vectors corresponding to words utilizing word to back. After that, we produce sentence vectors for each text description based on the obtained numerical vectors at step 2. Finally, we assign corresponding calls for using crossfire obtained by the spot vector machine, SVM. Before I explain the detailed algorithm of proposed autocoding method, I want to talk about word 2 vec and SVM. In this slide, I'll explain what to back. What to back algorithm runs what association from a given data set utilizing a neural network model based on the idea of neural probabilistic language. The essence of the idea is to avoid the curse of dimensionality by distributed representation of words. It produces a vector vector space, and each word in the given data set is assigned corresponding numerical vector of a word and the produced vector space. This picture visually shows the continuous skip gram model of word to back. Skip gram model used each current word in order to predict word within a certain range before and after the current word. For example, if the current word is chicken, Skip gram model uses chicken to predict before and after the word. Then, I'm going to explain support vector machine, SVM. SVM is a supervised machine learning algorithm for classification. It finds the maximum margin hyperplane in high dimensional space for classification. The left side picture shows the basic idea of SVM. SVM also performs nonlinear classification, transforming input data into higher dimensional space 
and calculating the inner product between the data in higher dimensional space using kernel trick. The right size pictures show the transformation of input data into higher dimensional space. As these pictures show, in the two dimensional space, the discrimination of two covered data is impossible. However, the transformed space it would be possible to discrimination by using the metric of product in the higher dimensional space by using the kernel trick. This slide gives more detailed explanation of kernel trick. SVM algorithm uses kernel functions to enable it to obtain the inner product of data in a high or infinite dimensional space. This is kernel trick. There are many kernel functions and kernel functions should satisfy the following conditions. Symmetry and positive semi-definiteness. Here is an example of kernel functions. In this study, we use radial basis function. Then I'm going to talk about the detailed algorithm of proposed autocoding method. In step one, we tokenize each text description. We use makeup that dictionary attached morphological Japanese text analyzer. In step two, we obtain numerical word vectors corresponding to words utilizing word to back to apply word to back. We produce data set for word to back concatenating all tokenized words consecutively. Then train word to back models applying word vectors packages to the produced dataset. Each unique word in the dataset is assigned corresponding numerical vectors. Then in step 3, we obtain a corresponding numerical vector for each word in each text description from the trained word to back model. Then we calculate the sum of numerical vectors for each text description. We call the calculated numerical vectors for each text description sentence vectors. In step 4, we train a support vector machine by SVM function in E1071 package. Then predict a corresponding code to each target text description by predict function. Then we extracted a matched text description at step 1. After that, we implemented reclassification based on the previously defined reliability score. Here's our overview of our previous studies. We originally developed conventional classifier. It assigns a corresponding code to each text description based on relative frequency of object. However, this classifier has difficulty correctly assigning calls to data includes uncertainty. To address this problem, we developed overlapping classifier. This classifier assigns calls to each text description based on the reliability score. The reliability score was defined considering both uncertainty from data, probability measure, and uncertainty from latent classification structure in data, fuzzy measure. This slide shows more detail of the reliability score. We define the reliability score of JS object to code K like this. The blue plus shows the relative frequency of object J to code K. Our originally developed classifier assigns codes based on only this blue part. The red part shows the classification status of object J over the K codes. The reliability score was defined considering both probability measure and fuzzy measure. This overlapping classifier implements a classification based on this reliability score. Then I'm going to talk about numerical example. For the numerical example, I'm going to show you an example using stack overflow dataset. This is a publicly available short text description dataset published in Kaggle. This dataset contains 20,000 instances consisting of question titles in English. 
and 20 different classification codes. For this example, we used Windows as OS and we used ARL version 4. Before we implement word 2 back and SVM, we performed data preprocessing utilizing existing R packages. First, we replaced punctuations with space using the JSON functions in base package. Then, we convert a package letter to lower case using two lower function in base package. After that, we removed unnecessary space using TM package and Stringer package. The classification accuracy of the proposed method was 0.91, and it was better than our previously developed classifiers. Based on the relative frequency was 0.652, and based on the reliability score was 0.87. Here's a summary of our presentation. We propose new autocoding method for accurate classifying to large and complex data. The proposed method has been developed applying word tubic to obtain numerical vector of target data set and SVM for classification based on the numerical vectors. We have utilized existing R packages for efficient development. We are planning to apply the proposed method to the governmental survey data. Thank you for your attention.